I'm gonna love you. What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're out here at Summit Lake. Oh, you can what see are you the... doing? I got it reversed. You ain't it, you want me? You no. Want it? Oh, yeah. it's on you? It's on me. Okay, shoot. I done had enough excitement for one. I don't know how you women are. You think I got a death wish? <laughs> well, we're out here at Summit Lake. Uh, we just got done walking Trail 6, I believe it was. Um, it was quite exciting. What, what, we had a little encounter, didn't we, honey? What did we see? Me, you, and a snake. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody deathly afraid of snakes. Definitely. And, uh, oh, he wasn't but about, I can't do it. That's about maybe eight inches long. A little Whoa. gardener snake. Python, I tell you. <laughs> then we get back up the trail. She's like, well, what? Because I don't like spiders. She said, what would you do if we was on the trail? And you see a gigantic tarantula weighed about 15 pounds. I said, 15 pounds? That little gardener snake didn't even weigh an ounce. What's the matter with you? I don't care. I said, 15 <laughs> pounds to me. I'm not even sure that little dude, if you, you could feel his bite if he bit you. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was quite the excitement. And, uh, well, that and freaking pile of poop in the middle of the trail if you're one of them people walk your dog on a trail if your dog got a poop please move it to the side of the trail i about stepped in it it was nasty too it was nasty it, it, well i don't know what the dog's eating but it was nasty and yes it was a dog but uh please take your pet to the side of the trail so somebody don't step in it but uh other than that it's actually enjoyable. I need to get my mind off this stupid election. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see. I'm not going to get into that. But anyway. Um, Could have done without that python. Python. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you a funny story. When we were in Arkansas, there was a, what was that place called? Chalk Bluff. Chalk Bluff was the site of an old Civil War uh, battlefield, but there's a trail you can go through, and it's up and down. It's very scenic. It goes by a river, and uh, Civil War battlefield. Yeah, it was a Civil War battlefield. Well, I would run the trail, you know, back when I was in some kind of shape, besides rounds, and uh, I ran the trail. Well, we walked at first, and I told her, I said, "Hey, I need a little, I need a little cardio. I'm gonna run this trail. It's probably, I don't know." maybe a mile through the woods the total trail wasn't that, wasn't that long but it's good cardio because it's uphill downhill down steps up steps it was pretty good cardio so i'm running along and i, I get i can see something i thought first i thought it was a big old stick across the path these pretty wide paths probably a six foot wide paths and uh i got a little closer i was like well that's a dark stick that thing's black and I got a little closer. It wasn't a snake stick. It was a fully mature, very old black snake. Uh, anaconda. Well, well, that thing was about an anaconda, which, you know, isn't poisonous. But when you come across about an eight foot long black snake laying sunning across the path, your path, and I'm not kidding, he was every bit of that big around. That's the biggest black snake I ever seen in my daggum life freaking everything grows big in the south freaking spiders everything y'all got radiation down there or something but uh that thing and i just I, I ran up to him and i jumped over him i was like please don't bite me in midair as i'm jumping over and as i'm jumping over i'm kind of looking back as i'm jumping like so he ain't trying to strike me as i jumped over and uh needless to say uh i only did that trail once that day because i'm not really scared of snakes but when you come across an eight foot long you know, probably three, four inch diameter black snake, which they can bite. Eight foot long. And it would hurt. Yeah, he was completely across the trail, and part of him was on in the brush on this side of the trail, and his tail was probably two, three foot on that side of the trail. Then the trail was about six foot long, wide. That's about eight foot snake. You, you talking? You sounded like my python. <laughs> Oh, somebody got jokes over here. But uh, <laughs> anyway. So we had all the excitement today. Woo. The little, I'm going to tell you what, the gardener snake. I've seen earthworms bigger than this snake. 
Oh my God, scared me to but, death. I about oh, broke his arm. Oh, she about killed my arm because she put me on snake patrol. So I, of course, I went first and uh, I caught it out of the corner of my eye, slithering a little bit. So I put my arms out and she grabbed a hold of my arm. She knew. She freaking knew, I guess. She didn't even see it, but she knew. She grabbed a hold of my arm, my forearm, with both her hands and just squeezed as hard as she could. And she's like, what was it? I said, you don't want to know. Just turn around. Tail. I seen the tail. Oh, I guess she seen the tail. I said, you don't really want to know. Just turn around. We're going the other way. And uh, then I told her, I said, yeah, it's just a little gardener snake. I about climbed on top of your head. Yeah. You about wore me like a hat. And the funny thing is, walking <laughs> that way on the trail, she's like, slow down. You're walking too fast. Good Lord, you you go into a fire. I said, it's not my fault you born with short legs. That's your fault. I'm six foot two. I got long legs. My casual walk is a run to her. But uh, on the way back, she said, can't you move no faster? <laughs> she said, I'm about to run you over. She said, I'm going to tell you right now, if I see another snake, I'm trampling you to get to that car. And I said, whatever. <laughs> so, what else I tell you? <laughs> I don't even remember. You want me to go anymore? You're going to have to buy me some snake-proof hiking boots. Oh, yeah. She said, you're going to have to give me some hiking boots. I said, well, I can do that. Whew. Which I thought I'd already done. She said, no, those are snow boots. I said, oh, so you got snow boots you don't ever wear. It cost me a hundred and something freaking dollars per pair, but whatever. They're not comfortable. They're not comfortable. You think the hiking boots are going to be any more comfortable? Yeah. Whatever. They're not. I've worn them before. I used to have a pair. Yeah, I would until you get them broke in. They're not going to be comfortable. No, not until you get them broke in. Anyway, I'm going to hop off here. I just thought y'all would get you a good laugh. Uh, on election day, result day here, uh, the what I call nightmare day. I'm just going to leave it at that. But anyway, um, I thought we could all use a good laugh at the expense of my lovely wife. If you go hiking, <laughs> watch out for the pythons and the anacondas. Well, all 12 inches of them. It wasn't even 12, even maybe 6 inches long. Oh, bull. Its tail was that long. I saw the tail. <laughs> that was the whole snake. Uh-uh. <laughs> yes, it was. He wasn't even as big around as my little finger. Oh, God, it was vicious, Homer. Dear, I've, I've fished with earthworms bigger than that snake was. I don't care. That was horrible. Actually, if you wasn't with me, I'd probably try to catch him. What? what? Yeah, I used to have a pet snake. You're crazy. Used to have a what was that a ball python huh, in the army and uh, catching you're crazy. Catching cut off his head. Like That's what I gotta say about it. Oh, that thing was cool, man. I only I messed up one time. I had him around my shoulders, and uh, I was at Fort Myers there at Arlington Cemetery, and uh, I forgot. It didn't dawn on me. It was cold as crap outside. This was maybe November, December, and that's cold and. In DC. Well, I went outside with him around there and he constricted and about choked me. I had to get a couple of my buddies to help me get him off around my neck, but uh, nah, snakes don't bother me. The only good snake is a dead snake. Well, That's you know, my spiders, story and I'm sticking mm -mm. to it. Spiders, nah. I ain't, I ain't messing with a spider. It ain't happening. My brother, one of my brothers had a uh, pet tarantula at his house one day and uh he said uh well it was actually his roommate and he said hey we got a uh i got a pet tarantula my roommate does you want to see it i said well sure if you want to get your butt kicked i said you can get some daggum tarantula around me and i'm gonna kick your a double s jack but uh He's scared to death of a spider. If y'all want to hear Brian and spider stories, <laughs> yeah. just put you yeah, just put messages down there that you want to hear Brian spider stories. And one day I have him hold the phone and I'll tell y'all all the spider stories. Yeah, I don't like spiders, man. One, one does include him squealing like a girl. Or whatever. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still happened. Yeah, that's right. Big bad airborne infantry boy don't like spiders, but I don't like sharks either. You're not gonna get me in the ocean because I don't want nothing to do with no daggum shark. I'll swim in the ocean. I ain't messing with nothing that I ain't top of the food chain. And yes, I know spiders ain't top of the food chain, but I don't know. I, I tell you where I think it stems from. When I was in basic training at Fort Benning, Georgia, we 
I get we did so good on a PT test or something. Our platoon got to go watch a movie. Well, what do you think? I had a fear of spiders before I ever went to the army. Well, this was a mandatory movie. Everybody, everybody went or nobody went. So fine, you know. Hey, it's a movie, free movie. Let's go, Jack. What do you think the freaking movie was? That's right, arachnophobia. phobia. And down in Georgia, they got these things called sun spiders. They're like a oh man, what is it? Tan, yellowish colored tarantula looking thing. They're, They're pretty. freaking pretty, my butt. They're big. And every time, man, and in the infantry, oh, we can't do maneuvers during the day. No, we, we got to do that crap at nighttime. We got to use the, the concealment of the night to move. Yeah, well, I can't see the freaking spiders at night, you butthole. But anyway, needless to say, I don't like spiders, so. I'm going to hop off here. Thought y'all could get you a good laugh at the expense of. Well, started out being my wife, but I guess it ended up being me too. Y'all get a good laugh at me being afraid of spiders. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, any of my friends, you think about putting a spider on me. Uh, remember, I do have a reactionary combat skills. I, I'll throw punch your, your butt in a heartbeat. I'm not playing. Don't put no spider on me. I will throat punch you. Anyway, I'm hopping off here. Y'all be good. Try to get through today. I know it's depressing for some of you. But uh, some of you may be happy. Uh, a lot of us aren't. But hey, whatever. Let's see. Uh, that's the process. I deal with it. I get over it. And uh, four years, we'll try again. Whatever. So my wife keeps punching me in the arm. Why are you hit my arm? Oh, she quit politicking. Nobody want to hear politicking. All right, fine. I'm getting off here. Y'all be good. And I'll bring you something again real soon.